What's up guys, it's Josh with the NC. We have a brand new ETM RTR here. We're gonna take this thing, get it completely race ready for Grass Ranch this weekend. Let's do it. <laughs> We have in front of me, brand new ETM RTR that we're getting ready to race at Grass Ranch this weekend. We're gonna go through, replace some of the parts, get this thing ready for pro class racing. We've got some wheels, we have suspension, powertrain components, some handlebar stuff. We're gonna go through this whole bike, all components that we're testing and tuning to get ready for the future. In this video, we're gonna install the parts. I'm gonna explain what they are, why we're trying them, and then we're gonna install them on the bike. So first thing we're gonna do to this brand new bike, straight out of the box, strip it down to the frame. Let's do it. All right guys, so as you can see, our bike is stripped down. This is actually a really good thing for us to do occasionally. This is a bike that gets shipped directly to us, just like it would to you guys, full on production bike. And this gives us kind of an opportunity to go through, check everything, do some quality control. So make sure bolts are tight, things are being assembled correctly. And one of the things I always check is make sure that all the bearings are greased. So as you can see, we have our steering stem here. This bearing has plenty of grease on it. Most manufacturers, most bikes don't do that. It's something that we're adamant about. So we do this every now and then just to check quality control things like that. All right, so now that we have our bike stripped down, we're gonna start putting the new test parts on. First thing we're gonna start with is the controller. So this is a little bit larger controller that we're testing out. As you can see though, not quite gonna fit on the stock bike, but as you might've noticed on the bikes that are already shipping, the newer ones, these have a removable controller mount on the frame. So what we can do is take this controller mount off, put this new one on that's built for this controller, put that on the frame, and now we have controller interchangeability. So this will be really fun for the future, being able to mix and match parts and try different controllers on the bike. So a quick tip guys, anytime you're putting new things on the bike, taking things off, blue Loctite's a good idea. You don't need much, it's a little bit on the bolt. Blue thread locker's fine, it's just medium strength. That's just gonna retain your bolts and make it a lot less likely that they're gonna get loose or rattle out. So the new controller that I just bolted on is a brand new test unit, a little bit larger than the stock controller, should be able to put out a lot more power. We're still in the testing phase, haven't ridden with it. We're gonna go race on it this weekend. We're gonna collect some data, see what how much power we can safely put through it, and then kind of make an ultimate decision for future upgrade kits. Now that the controller's mounted, we're gonna move right up to the steering stem. And these I'm super excited about because I just finished these prototypes. These are new upper and lower triple clamps for the RTR. Difference between these and the stock ones, these are made from billet aluminum, they're a lot thicker a lot beefier, it's gonna be a lot less flex. So if you're riding fast, you're hitting big sends, things like that, you're gonna get a lot less flex out of these clamps and you're gonna get more precise steering. It's gonna be a firmer feel. These should be really cool. These bar clamps will give you four different positions. So you can move your bars forward and backward in four different spots. Integrated display mount on these as well. So yeah, we're gonna throw these on the bike, see how they perform. Okay, so now that we're starting to put the steering stem together, one thing that's important to kind of take a look at is how tight this top nut is. So for me, I like my steering stem relatively tight, so I don't want this flopping around or giving me a lot of head shake when I'm riding, so I tend to tighten this top nut down a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of feel it like that. Might go up here, give it a little bit more, and maybe give it a little more than that. That feels pretty good. The tool that I'm using is actually this clutch holding tool from Motion Pro. It works great on the top steering stem nut of the RTR. Wanting to adjust your steering stem, pick one of these up. You can use a soft punch and gently tap that with a hammer to get it a little bit tighter. This is a handy tool if you don't want to mar up your top nut. So one other thing I do want to point out about these clamps, this isn't the final design. This is the first iteration. So these are some prototype clamps that I made. It's probably going to change a little bit as we learn and do some revisions and things like that. But this is like Rev A. So this is the first initial temp. So when they are out available to the public, things like that, they might look a little different, but this is our starting point. So now that we have our triple clamps installed on the bike, we're moving over to the front forks. Brand new set of forks that we're gonna try out. These have stiffer valving as well as stiffer springs than the stock RTR forks. And the hope is that with these more rigid clamps and these stiffer forks, for guys that are racing or really charging hard doing big sends, this should give you a lot more precise ride, a lot more holdup, less likely to bottom out, and just be a more confidence-inspiring ride overall. So these forks are from DNM. They are specifically set up for us to our valving and spring specs. Testing is always an interesting process 
process with suspension. You kind of just have to try things and see what works. This is our first attempt at it. It's likely we'll change things as we're going, but we're gonna throw these on the bike, see how they feel and get a baseline of what we want. One thing that I wanna point out, you probably noticed that I only tightened the bottom clamp lightly, I left the top clamp loose. That's because when I go to tighten the top steering stem nut, this clamp needs to be able to move down just a little bit if it needs to. And if I have these pinch bolts tight, the fork is gonna stop that from happening. So now with these loose, but the triple clamps aligned because the forks are in there, now I can go through and finally tighten the top steering stem. All right, front forks are on, steering stem is assembled. I'm just feeling this. Tension feels about right. We'll have to check it again once I put the handlebars on. This feels pretty good. You can also notice that I've set the forks flush with the clamp. This is something you could tune, so we can go a little bit higher, a little bit lower, kind of see how it feels. This is gonna be my baseline, my starting point. Once I ride the bike, I might decide that I want the front end a little bit higher or a little bit lower, depending on where I want the chassis. So this will be our starting point. We'll try it from here and kind of see where it goes. So to go with our new front forks, we also have this new rear shock from DNM. This is actually available now. This is the race version of our Resi shock. So this one has a 450 pound per inch spring installed. We might go to a 400 depending on how it feels with these forks. That's something we'll figure out in testing. These shocks are really cool. Drops the back end of the bike just a little bit for more stability at speed. I like that for racing. That's a personal preference. Reservoir on the shocks, always a good thing. Helps with cooling, helps with oil flow. So we're gonna throw this thing on the bike, see how it performs. Another important thing, especially on a new bike or a bike you've just disassembled, always grease your pivot points, whether it's your shock bolts, your axles, your string arm pivot, anything that something's pivoting on or sliding through, always grease it. It'll be a lot easier to disassemble later. Okay, so now that the suspension is in the bike, we're gonna move on to the motor. As you can see, this is a brand new motor. Calling it the Revolver right now, I don't know if that's gonna be the final name, but that's what we're sticking with for the moment. As you can see, it's big, it's very heavy. A lot of thermal capacity here should be able to take a lot of heat and a lot of power. We're gonna pair this with the new controller and test it out. We haven't run these two things together before, so obviously when you're running a new motor with a new controller, there's gonna be some testing, there's gonna be some tuning. We'll be doing some of that at the race this weekend as well. Yeah, let's throw this thing in the bike, see how it does. All right, so you can see see I'm holding the revolver motor over here. This is the currently available high torque mod motor. So you can see the size difference between these. Relatively light. This one's pretty heavy. So we're going to be pushing a lot of power through this one. We're also going to be trying a 420 chain setup on this one as well. See how that gearing works. All right, so we've got the controller mounted, we've got suspension mounted, triple clamps mounted, motor mounted. Really all that's left are handlebars, foot pegs, and of course, wheels. So these are a brand new set of wheels. These have an aluminum hoop, built aluminum hub, beefier spokes. These things are built for racing, built for sending. I've also got the Midas pit cross tires on here. And you might've noticed I have a 420 chain sprocket. So we're going to try the 420 chain setup on this bike. We think the revolver will be enough motor to pull that gearing ratio. And we're going to give it a try, see how it goes. Okay guys, bike is 90% done. Really the last main piece to put on is the foot peg bracket. So you guys have seen these before. I'm not gonna go through all the details. These are coming. They may even be out by the time this video is out. This is the first original prototype that I made. I'm gonna put this one back on my bike because I made it and I'm kind of proud of it and I like having it on my bike. So rather than one of the production ones, I'm gonna put my prototype back on. Production ones are coming. They're in production. They're going. Should be here pretty soon. All right, so we're pretty much there. Bike's mostly assembled, all the mod parts are on. All that's left is throw the chain on and the plastics. So let's do that right now.
Okay, here we are. Bike is done. We are ready to race. Put all the mod parts on. We got wheels. We have triple clamps, suspension. We have foot peg brackets. We have controller. I think that's everything. We went through a lot of stuff today. But yeah, this is the bike. We're ready to race. Bike's ready. I'm ready. Hopefully I win. If not, I'm fired. So if you don't see me in the next vlog, you know why. We'll see you guys in the next video for the Grass Ranch vlog. Thank you.